What's up guys? Drew here with Lives Matter. We are at Venice Beach. We are asking people about the controversial event that took place in Hollywood at the Donald Trump star with Joy Via and Elijah Schaefer from Slightly Offensive. We're asking people if what happened is okay. If it's hate, does love Trump hate? We'll see what happens. Hey, what's up guys? My name's Drew. I'm from Lives Matter. Can I get a fist pump? Interview with you guys? What you say? Um, my, my YouTube show is called uh, Lives Matter because I believe that all lives matter. Black, brown, yellow, if you're from space. I wanted to ask you guys some questions. I'm gonna show you a video, but before I show you, I'm gonna give you some context of what's happening here, okay? So Thursday night, Joy Via and my friend Elijah Schaefer from Slightly Offensive, I don't know if you guys heard, but Donald Trump's star was destroyed on the Hollywood Boulevard, so they had to redo the star in the same day. So my friends, they just support Donald Trump, okay? They just show up just to support the president. They didn't show up to protest. They didn't show up to mouth off to anyone. They didn't show off, you know, to show any disrespect. They just showed up to support the president because he got a new star. And this happened. Have you guys seen this video yet? <laughs> He's a Marine. Oh no, no. Oh wow, oh wow. All they were wearing were Trump gear and they just showed up to the Trump star. They weren't protesting. They weren't talking trash to nobody. They were doing absolutely nothing disrespectful. They got jumped and they got beat up just because they were wearing Trump gear. That's it. Let me ask you a question. Is that, a, is that okay? It's not okay, but I mean, it happens everywhere. So I mean, what can you do about it, right? It doesn't matter. It's not about hate. It's not about none of that. It happens. But would you say would you say that that was hate that was displayed on Thursday night? No, it wasn't hate. I don't think it was hate. In my in my opinion. So you wouldn't agree that that was hate? What was done to them? I don't think that was hate. What about you? I would call that blatant ignorance. That's ignorance. So uh, just because somebody's wearing something that you don't like doesn't mean that you should just go and beat them out of them when does that make sense it, it, it's senseless it's simply senseless it doesn't make sense so what is the definition of hate i mean <laughs> I, don't, I don't know i'm not webster man <laughs> i mean i think hate has various definitions and it all depends on the person everything is perception that's the way i see it well the actual definition hate is to have an extreme emotional disdain towards any individual or any thing itself. You could hate your car, you could hate the president, you could hate your drink, you could hate anything. You can have an emotional disdain to where it actually changes your behavior towards that thing or that person in a violent way. By the dictionary, yeah, by the, by the, yeah, the literary definition of hate, you're saying that that's what that is. Yeah, that's the fact. Uh, if that's what you think. So you don't think the facts matter? Uh, Whoa. I think people come from different walks <laughs> oh, of life, I think. Try to put me on the spot, huh? Whatever you say, man. So, question, do you think do you, do you think the facts matter? What uh, the facts think, of what? Of, of your definition of hate and Webster's dictionary and Webster's of Webster's dictionary of or definition of hate? No, I don't I don't believe that's my definition of hate. So, no. I don't so, so, what's your definition? A random guy wrote a fact down about a word. You're talking to the wrong guy about so, so what's your, what's, okay, what's your definition of hate? I don't have a de definition of hate. I don't have one. So you don't think hate exists? No, I don't think hate exists. So, unless, I don't, I don't want to talk, I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> You're like an interrogator, it's funny. Yeah, that the people, he was there to, because he was mad? No, they just showed up just to support the president's new star. Really? That's it. And that's what happened? And that's, that was the response. That was a turnout, violence, huh? Yes. I don't support violence. You know, everybody have their own opinion, but still, I don't support the violence. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. And I just, everyone has an opinion. There's, your opinion matters to me, okay? Do you believe that it's okay to hate someone like that in, in any situation? No. 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 You should not hate nobody. I only hate my worst enemy. So yeah, you should love everybody. You might not like them, but don't hate them. Hey, 
Amen. That's a strong, strong word. That's a strong, strong word. No, I don't hate anybody. Never. So I, mean, I like them. And I stay away from them. But I ain't gonna hate them. God, that's too much. So their lives were threatened. Do you think that it's justifiable to just publicly walk up to someone and just beat them silly or attempt to just because they support the president of the United States? No, no. Um, I'm not for or anti-Trump. I really don't care about him. But um, no, I definitely wouldn't go up to someone and beat their ass for something that they personally believe in. Even if it's someone who yells out the N-word or any word. I'll, but that's just me. I'm not saying that I have the right to tell anybody how to... It's okay. You have the right to have an opinion, bro. Um, but even if someone yells the N-word out of me, I don't care until you come to my personal space. Once you come in my personal space, then we got a problem. You know, and so... Yep. In that sense, no, I don't agree. That's not something I would have done. So that was something that was completely all called for, huh? Yeah. Yes. It's not okay to hate somebody. Yeah, I so agree. It's, you know, you should never hate someone. Um, we're all here. We should all just be able to coexist and to love each other. And just, you know, we're all passing through. We all live this life one time, so just love each other. No, I, I, I feel the same way. We should never hate, you know, our, our fellow man, you know. We want our opinions to matter. We want to, you know, be able to voice our opinions, so we should respect the opinions of everybody else. Yeah. When does it become okay to hate somebody? Uh, I don't think it's ever okay. Um, that's not what you want to promote and put out there because what goes around comes around. So you always want to put positive energy out there. So, so real quick, you said uh, hate's a strong word. I totally agree. Um, what would your definition of hate be? And we'll start with you. Racism. I would just say ignorance. That's all I gotta say. Ignorance, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so your definition of hate is ignorance? It's kind of ignorant at the same time when it's saying hate, you know? That's like calling us black men, you know the word, that's ignorant. So kind of in that little category, I feel. My definition of hate is kind of not loving. And we owe that to everybody, to love everybody, and treat them with dignity and respect. So if I don't love you, then I could be hating you. I feel like it's having a negative mindset. Um and just like projecting that on others and the opposite of love, yeah. Uh, when we make a decision to give a complete negative thought process to somebody, to, to an individual or a thing. I just think hate is a misunderstanding, man. You, you hate the things that you don't, you don't get. And when you get frustrated and not understanding something, you get angry. But I think the more open you can be, trying it out um, I think it'll help you know I don't think people truly know everybody's personal understanding so you know it's important that if anything you try to treat somebody like they treat you the definition of hate is just an extreme disdain an extreme dislike for an individual or a thing and you know I just want to ask you would you guys do you think that that's what that video was yeah Pure hate? Pure hate. That was hate. Yeah, I agree. I agree, but it was hate. Let me ask you this, right? Now this 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 might be a kind of you know emotional question, right? Is it possible that there is a form of racism now beginning to form around anyone that just simply supports the president of the United States, Donald Trump? Yes. There is. The video you just watched, and I gave you the context, they weren't there for a fight. They just showed up there because they support Donald Trump. Would you agree that that was an act and a form of hate? It appears to be, based on what you said, an extreme disdain for someone expressed that way. Yeah, it shouldn't have happened that way. We could, you should be able to discuss it calmly and let them express their differences. So do you think that it was right in any way for those people, for their lives, my friend Elijah and Joy, for their lives to be threatened just because they support Donald Trump? Their lives shouldn't have been threatened, but I'm sure if Trump saw the video of them, you know, being there to support him, he probably wouldn't care. No, I, I don't think that the, the situation should have happened like that. Uh, but it was, you know, from everything I've seen so far, uh, an act of, of hate, you know. But, uh, you know, we should all be able to, um, you know, be mature and present 
our, our cases, our feelings in a, a way to where we're not threatening the well-being of other people. So last question. If you were put in my friend's position, okay? If someone just came up to you and told you, they just walked up like my friends and they threaten your lives like that just because of the color of your skin, what would you say to that? If somebody were to threaten me based on the color of my skin, um, they're just saying words to me, so that's not gonna affect me. No, if they actually put hands on you like they did my friends. Then I'm calling the police, 911, <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, no, that's not- Would you, would you feel hated? I would feel hated, but I'm gonna let the police deal with that because I'm not, I'm not getting involved with, you know, I keep some pepper spray on me and I got my Bible. So, you know, that's all we need right there. Yep. You have the right to protect yourself. Second amendment. So let's, let's try this. If I were to put on a mega hat right now and walk around this beach, what do you think would happen to me? Make America great again hat. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Why not? It'd probably start something. <laughs> I don't want to see you get hurt. But why? Where do you think this is coming from? These people is crazy. You know, people's crazy. Now, here's another question. Do you think that it's okay to hate just because the president wants to make America great again? And his definition, people say it could be a racist agenda, but he's had some time in office. Have we seen any racist agendas put into office implemented? No. 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 <laughs> Absolutely not one. No. So, I mean, is he a racist president? Like, have we seen that yet in his policies for Americans? Well, I say, okay, why is well, everybody quitting, you know, his party, his cabinet? Oh, like his cabinet. Yeah, why are they all quitting or getting fired? What is this? This is not that game show that he's on, you're fired. You can just fire everybody. I think because Trump's made it very clear that he demands loyalty in his cabinet because obviously, obviously, now just think, just think, just think, okay? Obviously, he's a controversial figure. People hate him. I think we've can agree on that, right? And especially if you're gonna walk into a role of a world leader, wouldn't you wanna trust the people that are around you? Yeah, that's true. So he's made it public that that's part of the reason why he's actually, you know, firing some people in his cabinet. Okay. I mean, if you if you were a CEO, if you were a CEO of a multi-billion dollar company, that makes sense. That makes sense. if you were a CEO of a multi-billion dollar company, would you want people around you that would backstab you and you couldn't trust? Heck no. Mm -mm. So don't you think being the president of the United States requires the same kind of mental stability to be able to trust does. people? It does, yeah. I don't want to trust my people, even my co-workers. I want to trust them. I don't want them to eat my lunch or even put something in my lunch, you know what I mean? Part of the people that were there was Joy Via. She's a Grammy artist. She makes music. She's actually half black and half Latina. They were accusing her of being a white supremacist Thursday night just because she supported Trump. Do you think that that's logical? I mean, people say I look like Kevin Hart. Does it sound does it sound logical to call a half black, half Latina person a white supremacist? People people don't know what they're saying most of the time, man. Hey, what Jesus say? Turn the other cheek. I ain't listen to that crazy. <laughs> man. My thing is, if you don't react, then it ain't true. So if I were to accuse you a white Caucasian supremacist, racist, would that make any logical sense? Because that's what they did to Joy Via. Shit, maybe y'all see me that way. <laughs> hey man, hey, I love you bro. You matter to me man. I love you guys. Love you guys man. You guys, can I get a hug? Love you guys. Love you guys man. You guys are awesome. Lives matter. You guys can follow us Instagram, YouTube, and you guys will catch your stuff. Love you guys. More love out here, bro. We do. Keep sharing it, bro. Thank I love you. you guys. Can I get a hug? Love you too. I love you guys. I love you I guys. want your website so I can. Lives matter on YouTube. Yeah, okay? I can't wait to see Lives you. matter on YouTube. Hey, I love that you guys. Cool. I appreciate you guys are awesome. Your guys' opinion matters. Hey, we love you back. All right, we're done.